Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking a parallel plate capacitor has capacitance of 10 millifarad and charged with 20 volt power supply. The power supply is then removed and a dielectric of dielectric constant 4 is used to fill the space between the plates. The energy now stored by the capacitor is what? So that's the question. So first of all, we have to know the energy equation to do this question. So we know that the energy is equal to half CV square. So C is capacitance and V is voltage right here. So first of all, we have to now find the new capacitance. So when we add uh, dielectric, how is going to change the capacitance? So in order to do that, we know that capacitance is equal to E naught epsilon naught A over D. But when we have dielectric, we just multiply by dielectric, dielectric uh, constant. So here the new equation is going to be k epsilon naught a over d so this is going to be just four times epsilon naught a over d right so the capacitance is going to be, we know this value already capacitance value already provided right this value is 10 millifarad so all we have to do is simply multiply by the dielectric constant so this is going to be just four times 10 and that's going to give us 40 uh, microfarad uh, millifarad right millifarad and then uh, we had to find the voltage voltage the relationship be between uh, voltage and uh, dielectrics is uh, inversely proportional right so here they have given the voltage already 20 volt so if it's inversely proportional we just have to divide this one by 4 divide this uh, voltage by 4 so 20 divided by 4 that's going to give us 5 voltage right so we have 5 voltage here. So now we let's go ahead and plug it in this equation. So here we have E that is see E is the one we are trying to find. E is equal to half C V square. C V square we know that C is equal to 40 microfarad. So half time 40 micro I mean millifarad times V square. This is 5 V square. So 5 square is going to be 25, 20 time, 25 times 40 is going to be 1000, right? 1000 divided by 2, that's going to be 500. So 500 millijoule is going to be the answer. So let's check check this answer. So B is the correct answer. B gives, gives us 500 millijoule. So that's how we do this problem. Let's look at the second question. The charge on the square plates of parallel plate capacitor is Q. The potential across the plate is maintained with constant voltage by a battery as they are pulled apart to twice their original separation. Which is the smallest compared to dimension of the plates? Uh, the amount of charge on the plates is now equal to what? So that's the question. So capacitor is related to capacitor, right? So we know the capacitor equation already. That is epsilon naught A over T. So let's rewrite this equation. Uh, capacitor equation is equal to C is equal to epsilon naught A over D right now we are trying to find in terms of Q so we know that Q is equal to CV so Q is equal to CV hmm. so let's find the capacitor change due to this one so if it, if this is initial C naught and they are saying square plates covers Q the plate is maintained constant voltage value is okay now the this this is twice so the separation is doubled now so the new separation is doubled so c let's say this is c prime c prime is going to be epsilon naught a divided by 2d right so this is just uh, 2d and from this one we can conclude that c naught is equal to 2 c prime because this is half the value of this one right if you look at this one, this whole thing is equal to C naught. So also, so we can say as, as C prime is equal to C naught divided by two, or C naught is equal to two C prime. Same thing. And let's look at the charge. So they are asking for the amount of charge placed now. So after we separate, what what's the charge? That's the question. So we are trying to find Q prime. So let's write the e equation for the Q naught when we don't change anything. Q is equal to CV and from this one C 
C remains C naught. So this is just going to be C naught V. And when we separate this one by two times, that's going to give us Q prime. That's going to be equal to C naught divided by two. C naught divided by two V, right? Now let's equate both of them. So from this one, we know that this is this whole thing is equal to Q naught. C naught V is equal to Q naught. So we can replace this Q prime as Q naught divided by two. Right? I just replace this one. Right? This part is equal to this one. So I Q naught divided by two is going to be the answer. So let's look at this answer. So here the answer D matches. So that's the answer for this question. And that's how we do this kind of problem. I I hope you guys found this video helpful. See you next time.